Hello my gorgeous and absolutely beautiful lovelies, how are you doing? Thank you for coming into this video. This is Hedge Witch Tarot. Yes, you've heard me correctly, but I am not reading tarot cards today. I just came out of a, a TikTok live that I was on for a couple of hours, you know, and I, there was a subject that sort of came up in that live that I actually wanted to bring over here onto YouTube. And I wanted to share some information with you guys with regards to how to change your energy. Um, I'm doing these readings every single day here on YouTube, every single day on TikTok, and even um, doing personal readings. And I kind of come across this energy quite a lot where people want to manifest something to, into their life. They want to bring things into their life, but they keep hitting this block. They keep hitting this thing where they can't make it happen. And I wanted to get in here for you guys and just make a short little video for you guys, whoever needs to see it. If you're here, you need to see it. With regards to how you can do something so simple. It is literally going to take 30 seconds to one minute to achieve. You can do this once a day. You can do this twice a day. A minute, imagine, out of 24 hours, two minutes out of 24 hours. You can do it five times a day. It is all up to you whenever you remember to do it. But the most important time I would say that you can do this would be maybe with just before you go to bed and just before you wake up. So this is a technique that I've been practicing a little bit on my own and it really really helps to kind of raise my vibrations. So with regards to anything that you're trying to manifest or bring into your life, we do know that manifestation is something that if you don't know, you are capable of changing your life, okay, to a certain degree. Some certain things come in or out of our control, but that part that you do have control over, take control of it. And the way you do that is to adjust your energy. So it is going to be to change how you're thinking, what you're feeling to get the results in the spiritual world. So we as human beings or our experience on this planet is associated to three different things. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, my chest is a little bit funny. These three things are the physical, the mental and the spiritual. All of these things work together. So if we are trying to manifest, for instance, I want to manifest this Buddha into my world, or I want to manifest love or anything else. This is the physical, okay? So if something is not happening in the physical, and remember, these three things are all tied together. They're all in a balance with each other. They're all affecting each other. So if I cannot create something in the physical, then to get it to the in the physical, I need to affect the mind, the thought. So if I get to this place now where I cannot affect the thought. Maybe I'm 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 tired, I'm drained, I am <clears throat> I'm just too much in a dark place. You know what I mean? It happens to all of us. And I can't change my th the way of thinking. Then you need to affect the spiritual or the subconscious mind in some kind of way. And to do that, it's going to require a little bit of effort on your side. One minute, basically. So what you need to think about here, while I'm going to tell you this, I want you at this very moment to picture yourself living in your best life. Okay, so do this. This is the only bit of effort that's going to take besides from the one minute a day. It's literally think about what you want. Because if you do not know what you want, you're not going to get nothing. You're going to fly around in this world like a leaf blowing in the wind. Okay, you have to know what you want and be very specific about it. And remember all the things that we want. Like when I read tarot cards, the world card, when I pull up the world card, the world card talks about... <clears throat> your goals and dreams, my goals and dreams. It talks about what I want to see in my world. And if my world will be like, I want to continue on my spiritual journey. I want to have my YouTube channel keep on growing. I want your videos to get views. I want to spend beautiful quality time with my children. Um, I want to uh, expand my life in all ways and go on uh, journeys where I can find crystals in stores. This would be my world card. You know what I'm saying? But your world card might be, I like that I'm kind of bringing tarot into this. Your world or world card might be um, wanting to own a business, wanting to pay basically maybe travel the world, wanting to be healthy and fit, wanting to um, get highly educated, wanting to have that perfect relationship with it. Not, no relationship is perfect. 
You got to know that, but it can be good. Wanting to have that relationship that aligns with you with a person that cares for you long term, you, your family, your home, all those good things that you want to have, it all depends on you. So I want you, that's the effort you need to make for yourself right now. You need to maybe even write this down or even maybe just think about it. Be very clear on what you're thinking about. Have an idea of how your perfect world looks. So even picture yourself waking up in the house of your dreams. Picture yourself, you know, imagine it. And if you cannot imagine, because some people have problem like trying to imagining something, talk about it as if it has happened, as if you are talking to your best friend or your closest friend, your closest family member. So in other words, if you can't picture it in your mind's eye, because not everybody can do that, um, then pretend that you're speaking to somebody, pretend that you're sitting there and you're talking to your closest confidant and you're telling them, um, oh, wow, so my house is so amazing. It's on it's on a cliff and it is two stories high and it whatever that is to you. It describe what your day looks like to this. If they ask you, how was your day? And you say to them, oh, wow, oh, today I got that big major contract and my business now um, moved to the next level and I'm able to employ 50 more people and I'm really going amazing. I've got this million, two, three million dollar contract, whatever it is to you. I am in a relationship with an amazing person. Sometimes voicing things can be used if we cannot imagine. So get that very clear. What is it that you want to have? It's as if you, somebody asked you, how was your day? What would your perfect day look like? That's what I want you to look for. And there, that would be your goal that you're trying to reach. And then all you need to do is this. You need to activate um, third chakra energy. So there are spaces, I'm looking at myself right now, in our body that is called either meridian points or energy points. And we need to activate certain parts of these energy points. Um, what happens is, I'm sure you've seen Eastern philosophies, Asian philosophies, they do talk about all these points in our body. That's why we have got... Um, uh, acupuncture, we've got uh, people who do tapping, we've got we even got reflexology, all these kinds of things. It's even health related. So you can literally touch a point in your hand and you find your anxiety is coming down. There's literally a point at the back of your neck here that you can press that will help you ease headaches. Touching the back of your neck will ease a stress headache. Can you believe it? So there is a whole bunch of things that are connected to each other via nerve central systems in your body or energy systems. This has even been proven now in, in modern day um, science and medical uh, areas as well. And this is something that has been felt way back in the days, thousands and thousands of years ago, literally by some of these ancient practitioners. So we need to activate one specific point to be able to get that vision that you have into reality. And that point that we are looking at is your third eye. So your third eye is connected to your, to your pineal gland. Your pineal gland is an interesting thing because your pineal gland is almost all three of these things in one. That's how I look at it. That's what my spirit guides tell me about it. They like the pineal gland. It's physical. It's mental, but it's also spiritual. So it's something that lies right in the center of your head. It sometimes looks like an eye or the Egyptian eye that is actually the shape of the pineal gland and where it is. It's right behind here. Okay, that's why they call it the two eyes, the third eye. So what is happening there is that when you can activate that energy, while you are visualizing what it is or talking about what you've already achieved, even if you don't have it, it's going to help you to get your vibrational state to a place where you want it to be, where you can start to actually attract these things into your life. So simple, simple, simple. What do you do? You go to bed at night. Now you must have that clear picture in your mind of what it is you want to create. When you go to bed, you take one of your fingers. It can be two like this or it can be one. Um, it's whatever you want it to be, whatever position you want it to be in. I would say I would use both my fingers and I would just press on this point. You can either press on this point or you could literally even just tap it. Um, I kind of I kind of like, it is called tapping. I don't really like the tapping <laughs> for me. It's all up to, up to you. Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit of a flu here, a little cold. Um, with this energy, I prefer to press on it, okay? I prefer to press on it. So I would press on this point. And then when I press on the point, you can literally, if you close your eyes, you should close your eyes just for one minute. I would press on this point quite hard 
and then I would look up at where I'm pressing my fingers. So I would look up at this point. So both my eyes are now aiming at where the third eye is. When I do this, I just start to visualize what it is I want to come in. So you can slightly tip your head up so you can look straight up into the center of your forehead. Then you just do the visualization. You're just in that energy. You're just picturing yourself waking up in your dream life. You're picturing yourself whatever it is, whatever milestone you're trying to reach. You can even break this down to something even smaller. Say, for instance, you want to get a promotion. You want to get a, you want to meet somebody. I would then picture in those moments when I'm pressing on this point, that is what's going to activate that kind of energy flow. Know that you're pressing here, you're causing an activation here that is going to affect the pineal gland right in the center of your brain, literally, which is going to bring all those three elements, the mind, the body, the spirit into alignment. It's going to help to create. When you've done this, you can even picture small little things. Sometimes when I'm trying something new, I like to get something small. I like to say to myself, okay, I want to see... Um, I want to have a, a, maybe I want to go see a certain place, you know, I want to go out of it, I want to go on a trip, and I'll be like, I'm going to manifest myself going on a trip, on a road trip, you know what I'm saying, I'm Sagittarius, so road trips, is really important to us, we like going out on trips, so I would like literally say, I'm going to manifest a road trip. And a fun day out where there's a picnic basket in the back and all the kids are in the car and we're having fun. I want to manifest that. And then I would literally press on this point before I go to bed. I would picture packing the car. I would picture I'm um, getting ready in the morning to go. I would picture getting out, putting on the road, filling up the tank. You know what I'm saying? Going out there, doing what I need to do, experiencing, seeing the views, stopping on the side of the road, seeing new things, going on this adventure. I would start with those small little things you're trying to create. I would test it. And then you do this whenever you can. You do it whenever you can. You do it experience. Especially if you cannot do it at any other time of the day, if you can only do this one minute out of your entire day, do it when you get in bed, when you're about to put your head down on the pillow. This is a very potent time. You would focus your energy, just sit there for one minute and picture what it is you want and then let it go and be like, good night world. And you can even put a little extra something in there like universe, show me how good it can get and go to bed. If you want to, you can even do this again as soon as you wake up. You don't even have to be honestly sitting up straight. You can even be laying down in bed. It's like before you roll out of bed and you're still warm under the covers and you're laying there, you can even just put your fingers up and picture what kind of day you want to have. Picture what kind of life you want to have. Picture whatever it is you want to bring in. In those moments, these are basically the two most important times of the day for you. Just before you sleep, just in the moment when you wake up. And then during the day, what, whenever you want to go for this, do it as well. You're sitting in your office or you're sitting in an appointment waiting for someone to come in. As I'm sitting, no one will take note if I do this. Maybe they think I've got a headache. In the meantime, I'm visualizing, you know, I'm sitting waiting for the doctor's appointment. I'm visualizing. They don't know. Maybe they think I've got a, a stress headache, you know. I'm sitting in the restaurant waiting for something to happen. I'm waiting for the kettle to boil while I'm making my coffee. I can do that. And just picture that again. If you can do it two, three times a day, go for it. That is a very small thing that you can do to literally shift energy in your entire being that creates a positive direction for you to start going into. And it's nice. Sometimes, even when you find that you are worrying, you've got to worry, you're worrying about something, do it. Hold it at that moment. Instead of worrying about the thing that's going wrong, picture the life that you want to have, the creation that you want to bring in. Because remember, your mind is creating your reality by the emotions that you are feeling. Okay. And the mind is influencing the emotions. The emotions are influencing the mind. So somewhere that chain link things has to be broken. And you do that by activating third eye with the vision that you want to have. Try this out. Try it for a week. Just say to yourself, for seven days, every single night, I'm going to do this. Just for seven days and see what it does to your energy. But there we go, guys. Thank you so much for coming in and listening to this. I know I don't usually do these kind of videos, but I wanted to do this for you guys. Through all the personal readings that I've been doing and even the lives that I do on TikTok and even the readings on here, I pick up on a lot of the energy of people trying to create. And I wanted to share something that I do that is so simple, that doesn't take up like my whole entire day. Something so easy and simple. And I've seen that almost 
every one of the things that I try to bring in when I do this, it just seems to come in so naturally after that. Otherwise, thank you for coming in. I'm sitting my absolute love to you guys out there. Bye.